Buongiorno. Welcome to my channel. Today is another first impression video and I am going to share with you my first impression on Roja Parfum. I have here seven fragrances from Roja Parfum. I got these with my order from Jivoy and I just didn't have the time to film but I really wanted to share my first impression uh, so Today is today. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. Roja Parfum is one of the most uh, hyped up luxury houses that exists. So I can't, <laughs> I really can't wait. Uh, I will just go in order. So I will start with Scandal. It smells extremely familiar, <sighs> but I don't know. I smell this fragrance a lot like not when I was a child, when I was younger, so maybe in the end of the 80s, beginning 90s, I don't know. It's very white floral, very clean, vintage smelling, to be honest. Yeah, I smell tuberose and it's very soapy, very vintage-like, not, not at all what I expected, to be honest. So we are not starting on a good note here. Yeah, I don't like this one. If you like vintage fragrances, I mean like of the end 80s, beginning 90s, I think you will like this one. I have to be honest, I don't like this one. Ah, uh, by the way, these are from Essence du Parfum. Um, so like the collections that comes in like a little bit of a long bottle. Yeah, I will search for the notes. Uh, so Scandal has top notes of bergamot. Mid notes, you have gardenia, jasmine, freesia, tuberose, lily of the valley, orange blossom, may rose. Base notes, you have sandalwood, orris, and musk. Yeah, I get the floral notes, but mostly the ones that I can distinguish in this fragrance is tuberose and the sandalwood and yeah, the musk. Yeah, it's not my vibe at all. So that was a scandal. Now let's move to reckless. Uh, these are all very powerful fragrances. I mean, I'm spraying and I, I get the fragrance like from a distance. This is different. It has a powdery touch. I would say there is violet here. So again, this is the floral fragrance, but not like the um, Scandal. It's not vintage. It's powdery. It has a freshness to it and some sweetness in the background. I think there's also sandalwood in this one. It's not so powerful like uh, a Scandal. So now it's toned down and it became very soft, very feminine. It's not bad, not my vibe again. Oh my God. <laughs> This video is not going very well, <laughs> not at all what I expected. Um, yeah, I don't like it. It's not bad, but yeah, it's not for me. So let's look up the notes here. <laughs> so you have top notes of mandarin orange, orange and bergamot. Mid notes, you have neroli, rose, jasmine, geranium. In the base, you have vanilla, benzoin, musk, cinnamon, sandalwood, pink pepper, styrax, coriander. I mean, I think. Uh, am I smelling the wrong fragrance? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, it's not what I'm smelling. And I get, I definitely get some violet here. I'm almost sure I'm smelling violet. Anyway, are these the right notes or not? I don't like it. <laughs> Let's move on. Reckless is a no. Now, next one is Risqué. Let's see how this one smells like. Oh, this is different. <laughs> okay, this is quite masculine. There's a very strange note here. I smell mostly patchouli, so it's very earthy, has a woody touch. There is a note that I can't distinguish here. It's quite medicinal, you know? It's a very fresh, earthy, aromatic. It's very, very, very medicinal. 
so I I'm not a fan of these kind of fragrances. So this is again a no for me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I will search for the notes. So top notes you have bergamot, middle notes, ah chamomile. Is that chamomile that I'm smelling? Not exactly. Anyway, so you have chamomile, peach, high Hyacinths. I never know how to pronounce this flower. Anyway, May Rose, Ylang Ylang, Jasmine. In the base you have patchouli. For me, this is number one here. Along with this medicinal note that could be chamomile, I don't know. Vetiver. Ah, oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> now that I'm reading a vetiver, yeah, I get it. Oak, moss, cedar, and labdano. So, for me, I get this medicinal note, I get patchouli, I get vetiver, maybe a little bit of rose, like floral notes, let's say, not rose, but floral notes. So that, that means that this is a sheep, because you have labdanum, you have also oak moss, and you have the bergamot. Yeah, it's a sheep. Hmm. I don't like it, again. <laughs> Now I have mixed feeling. I'm both disappointed but also happy. I don't want to fall in love with one of these fragrances. And Roja is very expensive, so... <laughs> mixed feelings here. <laughs> now let's go to Elixir. I heard a lot about this fragrance. But I don't remember anything. What, like the notes or how does it smell, so... Hmm. Yeah, okay, now we are starting to talk. Yes, this is quite nice. Again, very powdery, uh, but not iris and not violet. So my guess it's heliotrope because it has a little bit of this almondy touch, you know. This is quite nice. It's again floral. Uh, powdery. I get a little bit of sweetness. So I guess there is some fruit here, maybe berries or something, but I mean the whole thing is very well blended. I, I can't distinguish any note, maybe heliotrope, and then there are floral notes, there are also some fruity notes, but yeah, uh, it's all very well blended, They're very feminine, elegant. Very elevated, uh, fruity floral, in my opinion, and it smells expensive. Hmm. Let's look up the notes on this one. So, Elixir, you have top notes of bergamot, mid notes you have rose de may, raspberry, peach, violet. Now that I'm reading it, I smell it. Heliotrope, ylang ylang, geranium, jasmine, lily of the valley. Oh my god, there's a lot of notes. Base notes you have musk, cashmere wood. Vanilla, oris, violet leaf, ambrette, sandalwood, cedar, and cinnamon. Quite a concoction here. I don't know why, for me, the violet, uh, I mean, the heliotrope is the one that really sticks out, uh, for me at least, along with the raspberry, I guess. Yeah, it's quite nice, very elegant, very ladylike, but not like mind blowing. But I like it, yeah. Oh, finally, one that I love, elixir. Now let's move to 51. I wonder why it's called like that. As usual, I will do uh, like a follow-up on uh, like these fragrances and tell you my final thoughts and I do my research and tell you about the story and everything. Uh, this is more fruity. It's quite a it's a quite sweet fragrance. From all these, this is the more juvenile, <laughs> although again very elegant. It smells like a dessert, like a dessert with a lot of fruits. So, I guess there is a lot of vanilla here. Yeah, a lot, a lot of vanilla. Is there again a heliotrope or like some of these flowers that give the powdery touch? But it's not so much here, it's really in the background. There are also floral notes and fruity notes. But what I can really distinguish here is the vanilla for sure. This is very interesting. I don't, I can't say that this is my favorite, but I like it. 
I really like it. A little bit too much vanilla for my taste, but it's very, very pleasant, very sophisticated vanilla. Now, let's look up the notes for this one. You have top uh, bergamot, mid you have raspberry, orange blossom, may rose, jasmine, tuberose, ylang ylang, lily of the valley, gardenia, lily, oh my god. Base you have vanilla, benzoin, violet, anise, patchouli, cashmere wood, sandalwood, orris, cinnamon, clove, oh my god. This is a lot of notes. Now that I read the notes, I get a lot of number one vanilla. I get now the raspberry, although it's it's very, I mean, for all of these fragrances, it is very well blended. I really, it's very hard for me to distinguish the notes. I would say vanilla and raspberry are the ones that really sticks out for me. Uh, I guess this is one of the fragrances that you will get addicted to because I can't stop smelling the paper. So yeah, that was 51. Now let's move to Enigma. This is again one that uh, is very high. And from what I remember, there are a lot of Enigmas from Rosal Parfum. So I don't know which one is the height one. Oh, oh, this smells really expensive. Again, a lot of florals, I don't know. And some sweetness, maybe some fruit here. And a powdery touch. So again, maybe heliotrope violet. I think from now, uh, from what I saw here, really likes violet. This is so pleasant. It's getting better and better now. It's very hard to describe this fragrance. It's elegance in a bottle. <laughs> why? Why? I don't want to love any of these fragrances. I don't know if this is the one everybody is talking about, but if it's this one, it's worth the hype, it's really beautiful. Signature worthy, like lady. This is a fragrance for a lady. Like a classy, elegant lady. Oh my God. For me, this is like an Hermes bag, you know? <laughs> and again, I can't distinguish any note here. I'm, I'm literally speechless. I have to check the notes on this one and the price. Okay, Enigma, you have top notes of bergamot, mid notes, you have geranium, may rose, neroli, jasmine, ylang ylang, heliotrope, peach, so I guess again heliotrope. Base, you have patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, oris, ambergris, musk. I can't distinguish any of the notes, <laughs> but it's just beautiful. So before looking for the price of this one, I will just smell the last one <laughs> and then look. I don't want to be shocked. And I know I will be shocked anyway. Now let's move to danger. This is very soapy clean and I definitely smell the violet. Here it's really predominant, I can smell it. Um, and I think there is also sandalwood uh, in the base. Um, I have to say I don't like this one very much and it's similar to which one was it? It's in the same family like Elixir. They are different, but it has the same vibe. But I prefer Elixir to this one. This is too soapy, too musky for me. But this again smells expensive, a tiny bit vintagey, but it's okay. It's, it's just okay. So let's see this one. Thank God, because I don't want to fall in love with another one. So we have top notes of grapefruit, lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange. The thing is, in the whole, like the whole, all of the fragrances, the top is very citrusy, but I don't get it so much. Anyway, mid notes you have violet, may rose, gardenia, jasmine, ylang ylang, and peach. Again, peach. He really likes peach. Very soapy. <laughs> Uh, base notes you have musk, sandalwood, vanilla, tonka bean, oris, club, and patchouli. I get a lot of the musk and the violet. Maybe I am getting a lot of the violet because I am not a fan, <laughs> but maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so that was the last one, Danger. Now I will try to rank these. Okay, um, this was quite easy for me to rank. So my on my number seven, so my least favorite is Risqué. I don't like this one at all. It's very sharp to my nose. Uh, I don't like it. And I don't know if it's the chamomile or like the whole composition. 
I just don't like it. This is an absolute no for me. Uh, on number six is Scandal because I am not a fan of these kind of fragrances. This is very vintage in my opinion. It's more of a fragrance that I would buy for uh, as a gift from my mom, for example. So yeah, I'm not a fan of this one at all. This is Scandal. It's a very opulent floral fragrance. Uh, number five is Danger. It's just okay. Uh, it's not because it's bad. And again, not my vibe. It has a little bit of soapiness. Uh, I don't know if I picked that up like the first time I, I smelled it, but now I get a lot of soapy, like a soapy character in it. And so Danger is on number five. Now, number four is like a Reckless. It's unique. I will give it that. But yeah, again, not my vibe at all. All of these fragrances are quite mature. Again, not my vibe. It's nothing bad about it, but I just don't like it. It's not. It's just not my vibe. Now let's go to more of the fragrances that I actually like. Uh, this is number three, Elixir. I like it, but I wouldn't pay uh, that amount of money for it, to be honest. So that was number three, Elixir. Number two, we have 51. This is uh, definitely for vanilla lovers. I like it, but it's too sweet for my taste or, or too much vanilla for my taste. Let's say it like that. So although I like it, it's not like for me. So that is 51. Now let's move to my absolute favorite and one that I really like, Enigma. Oh my God. This is absolutely beautiful. This is an enchanting fragrance. It's so nice. It screams luxury, femininity, elegance. It's a beautiful fruity floral. Just amazing. I, I, I really like it. It's fresh. It's floral. If I have to describe it in one word, it will be enchanting now i will look up the price and pray for me oh my god this is 270 euros for 100 ml are you worth 270 euros i don't know i will judge if it's worth the price tag when i test it on my skin and see about longevity and sillage because 270 is just too much. <laughs> this is a lot. As usual, I really had fun uh, testing all of these fragrances. And now, yeah, I got a taste of Roja Parfa. <laughs> anyway, I hope you liked this video and you had fun like I did. If you did, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel. As usual, I will do a follow up on all of these fragrances and tell you my final thoughts so make sure to subscribe and also to hit the notification bell so you will get notified when i upload it that was it thanks a lot for watching and see you next time ciao